Hi, uh, I'm Christoph and I'm giving you a seven minute overview of my talk, 10 things we learned from running production at Google. Uh, I have been a site reliability engineer at Google for over eight years. We have been doing SRE at Google for almost 20 years and running large software systems at a planet scale has many challenges and Google was one of the first companies uh, to face them. So we learned many things over the years. I want to give you a summary and 10 simple uh, lessons on like um, what we have learned from that. Many phrases that we have coined over the years or adapted from other fields that might be good uh, to uh, learn and uh, to apply to your environment, which is definitely different, but maybe some of these things are helpful for you. So the first set of principles is about culture. Uh, as uh, they famously say, uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. It's attributed to Peter Drucker. Um, number one is our official SRE motto. It's hope is not a strategy. And it's not a strategy um, because you actually need to plan ahead of time for reliability. You need a voice at the table that thinks about reliability at any point in the software lifecycle. Those are usually the SREs at Google. And you need to plan ahead because if you run into a reliability uh, problem, into a situation where you have systemic issues with reliability, um, there are so many things that you need to change that are very hard to change late in the uh, software product lifecycle um, that it can really disrupt uh, your product development. Number two, cattle, not pets. Um, we try to make our things uniform, like a large herd of cattle where we don't know the individual animals personally, uh, and not like pets that uh, we pet all the time. So if your service, if your mail server or something is a pet where you know its name and its IP address and has all the special configuration, you cannot scale. All the systems need to be uniform. You need to have uh, a shared stack of technologies uh, for cognitive uh, load as well as for uh, scaling operations and making things more reliable. Number three, planlessness. Planlessness is well known in the context of production postmortems after an incident, but I think it's a much more pervasive principle for all of your organization's culture. If you don't have the psychological safety for people bringing up issues, then you can't identify them. If you can't identify them, you can't fix them. Number four, measure what matters. If you don't have data on what the state of your systems are, what the states of your product are, you cannot identify where you need to improve. And we know from experience that things that you don't measure get worse. But also make sure that you measure the right things because the measure always becomes the target and then um, things that you don't need to improve, uh, you shouldn't care that much about. Now, the second part of my talk is about operations. Um, number five, the best way to learn uh, how a system works is watching it go up in flames in production yourself. If you don't join operations, if you don't, aren't on call for the systems, then you won't understand really what's broken with the systems and how you can fix it. Being on call is not the purpose of SRE. It is a means to an end to better understand the systems so we can engineer uh, them in a better way. Number six, no heroes. Um, being a hero, like solving a problem through heroism, through like pulling long hours and, 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 and going into fire drills all the time, is not only bad for the hero themselves, for their health, um, but it's also bad for the team because it sets a culture. It's also bad for the system because you do not plan ahead. If you can be the shining hero when there is a fire, you obviously do not invest in preventing fire because you cannot shine as much. 
Um, so we try to like not be heroic, but be prepared and to work as a team. The on-call or the incident responder is never alone. There's always someone to escalate. That's really, really important to make people feel safe and confident about uh, managing large production incidents. Number seven, automate yourself out of your current job. If you keep doing the same operational work over and over for years, you cannot improve. And also, as your system becomes more successful, which it hopefully does, the operational work typically scales linearly. So you need to actually cut down on these things, automate them, optimize them, so you actually have more time to do engineering work to keep up with the scaling of the system and also to make the system more reliable. Automation is not only about efficiency, it's also about reliability. The last section is about change. Number eight, change is the number one reason for outages. Deploying new software, deploying new configuration, these are typically the things that break your product. Um, so you need to manage the risk of changes. This is where your focus needs to be as a developer, as a site reliability engineer, as an operator. But don't be a gatekeeper because number nine, outages are inevitable. If you try to prevent all outages, you cannot change, your product cannot evolve, and that's uh, how you go out of business. Um, so try to prevent that, uh, try to collaborate, try to prepare, try to mitigate the outages as quickly as possible when they happen and root cause later. Last but not least, number 10, no haunted graveyards. You've ever, we all have seen this code that is too, too scary to touch. This like has a comment, do not touch, do not look here. These are the things that you should fix. You should not accept neglect. We have this saying that Googlers pick up after themselves and it doesn't only apply to meeting rooms, it also applies to the code base. Leave the place better than it was before. Try to build simple systems rather than complex systems. They look impressive. They're much easier to do. Simple systems are actually what it is the most impressive part. So if you want to learn more about these topics, check out my full talk or read more about site reliability engineering at sre.google. Yes, that's an actual URL. Thank you. <laughs>